In this episode of Learn to Draw, we're going to mess with the left and the right side of your brain. Hey, hey, welcome back. Episode 3 uh, of Learn to Draw with me. <laughs> And this time it's going to be a little bit different because I'm using a, li a little different editing style and less of this green screen thingy. But we're going to get right to it, so uh, enjoy. We'll try two exercises today. And the theory behind those exercises is that uh, it depends on the job at hand, whether your right side of the brain or your left side of the brain will, you know, pick that job and do that task. A Sudoku puzzle will most likely be more left side work, logical side work. Drawing, if you are a beginner, will probably also be snatched by the left side. So we have to kind of trick your brain so that hopefully the right side will take over. We'll have to trick your left brain to turn down the job and let the right brain do it. First, the vases and phases exercise. You've probably seen this optical illusion drawing before that can either be recognized as two faces looking at each other or a vase in the center. Download the example file. The link is in the description below. Choose the image file that best suits you, whether you're lefty or righty, and, you know, print it out. So redraw and name the parts as you move along the line. Forehead. Eyebrow. Eye socket. Nose. Upper lip. Lower lip. Chin. Neck. missing profile. Okay, so while drawing the missing half of this vase of face drawing, uh, you probably ran into conflicts. Maybe even, maybe you even had to completely, you know, stop because you fell into some sort of mental paralysis. And this is because your two brain halves kind of like uh, collided, you know, uh, the left brain wanted to, you know, name all this stuff and your right brain actually wanted to measure the angle and the curve and the length of the line uh, to actually complete the perfect mirror reflection uh, of the image at hand. So how did you solve the problem? Did you experience any of these conflicts that I mentioned? Did you uh, stop thinking names? Did you try to focus on whether it's a face or more like a boss. Where, where, where did, what did you focus on when you were drawing this missing half? Um, and, well, maybe you started to use a grid. Maybe you started to use a ruler. Maybe you kind of like squinted your eyes. What did you do to complete the task? Or did you give up? I don't, I hope you didn't give up, did you? Exercise number two, upside down drawing. Download the file, upside down drawing JPEG. <laughs> Link is in the description below. Print it. Don't worry, your printer's fine. The image is upside down. 
All right, uh, upside down line drawings. Well, familiar things do not look the same upside down. You may even be unable to recognize familiar faces if it's upside down. Put on some nice music, take your pen and paper, sit down and draw the upside down drawing. Do not turn the drawing right side up until you're done. Start anywhere you like. Top left, bottom right, or vice versa if you are a lefty. And copy the lines and curves one by one. Since your left brain is kind of like unable to name what you're currently drawing, the symbol system can't kick in. Move from line to line. You can scribble a little if you want to, meaning you start with soft lines and repeat it over and over until you hit home. You know, the right angle, right curve, right length. And that's actually what you focus on. Curves, lengths, is it a curved line, is it a straight line? What's the angle toward the next line? How long is it compared to this line and all of that stuff? What's the general direction? How long is that line compared to this one? And, and so you go, you go and it's kind of like a puzzle. It should feel like a puzzle. And that's when it feels like a puzzle. That's when you are in R mode. Ta-da! You hit it. You got it. That's R mode. Feeling like a puzzle. It, you're not drawing. You, you're kind of like doing a puzzle. When you're done, turn the drawing and the reference right side up. And? And? I bet you did it. I bet your drawing looks very good. I knew you had it in you. Everyone can draw. It's just a damn symbol system that, that you know keeps you from copying what you see. And as soon as you do that, because you have no other choice, your drawings look great. That's it for today. Let's recap. You did the phase versus phase drawing to cause a collision in your brain that would not actually make you pause. So if you want to do that again, uh, just to kind of like observe what's going on in your head while you're doing it. And also maybe to figure out how to copy lines and right angles in a very simple way. Uh, I'd appreciate any feedback you can give me on what your experiences are during this exercise. And uh, well, exercise number two, upside down drawing, I think was pretty good proof that you can actually draw. You can actually, you can download whatever kind of line drawings you want from Google, you know, just search for line drawings and then, then print them and, you know, turn them upside down and then draw them. You can do as many of those as you want. It's good exercise <clears throat> and you're probably going to be surprised how good you actually are copying lines lines in the right angle direction and, and, and length is not so hard. What's only hard is when your left wrong side kicks in and kind of like makes you draw something that is not really there, but it's just something that your brain makes up. So uh, any feedback appreciated. If you're not yet subscribed, uh, please do, because next week we'll focus on something else. <laughs> Uh, until next time, peace out.